Hi guys, and welcome back to another Travel Tip Tuesday with Adventures by Miranda. Today, I want to share with you guys some of my strategies for saving in sneaky ways for vacations and travel. So I started this several years ago when I wanted to take our daughter, and of course my husband too, on our first Disney trip. We could not afford it at the time. But my husband agreed that if I was able to pull this money magically out of thin air, then we could go. So I took him up on that and I figured out ways to do that. And I still use these all the time. And I'll tell you, I was able to save a pretty substantial amount of money for two years under my husband's nose for our 10 year anniversary trip, which unfortunately has been put on hold due to coronavirus. We were supposed to go this past May, but we're gonna go soon. Um, but for two years, he had no idea that I was socking away enough money for us to go on this really big dream trip for us. He was so shocked when I showed him the bank statement on Valentine's Day. I have implemented a lot of strategies and I want to share these with you. Simple ways to save that are not going to hurt you and you can put away a serious amount of money if you strategize about this. So let's start with the obvious gift cards. Um, you probably already know about a lot of these, but besides just asking for, you know, Disney gift cards or cruise line gift cards or visa gift cards, whatever that may be from your friends and family for birthdays, anniversaries, Valentine's Day, every holiday. <laughs> besides that, you can get a lot of these discounted gift cards at uh, places you regularly shop. Um, usually it's going to be about 5%, sometimes 10%, I'll talk about that, but you look for these in um, your wholesale places like Sam's, um, BJ's, Costco, um, and Target. I like to use Target because there's one here in town, and what I do is I have my Target Red debit card. I don't use the credit card, I use the debit card, I don't like to carry credit. Um, but the debit card, it doesn't have any fees or anything like that associated with it. I never paid a dime for it. It links directly to my checking account. But I get 5% off all of my purchases. This includes gift cards, except for Target gift cards, but any other gift cards that they carry, which includes Disney cards. So that's how I saved up um, for that first Disney trip. Um, one time a year before Christmas, Target will do a 10% off one day of their gift cards. There is a limit of $300 per person or per red card, but if you strategize ahead of time and you have those finances set aside, if you have friends or family who have the cards and you can you know, give them the money to make the purchase for you, you can collect a significant portion of your trip at 10% off. And that can be a huge savings. Um, I regularly save a few hundred dollars on my Disney trips and that's, that's a chunk. Um, I do strategize about these and I purchase them, I save up my money, and then when I get a certain amount, I go in and I buy all of my gift cards. And then um, perhaps I'll do a separate video on how to work your gift cards. There's all kinds of stipulations around them, but you can really work them. Um, but anyway, we'll do a separate video on that coming up. So gift cards, no matter what savings I'm doing, in the end, it's pretty much depending on where we're going, it's always going to go into a discounted gift card that I then pay for my trip. So I'm getting that additional savings. Aside from that, let me get out my notes. I have for my savings, a separate bank account. Um, so for our anniversary trip, that's a separate account. For Disney trips or Universal trips, that's a separate account. I heard years ago, and is some financial advice that just really stuck with me. And this guy said, always pay yourself first. So when you get your paycheck in, he would physically write a check to himself as though he was paying his bills. And then of course, you save aside enough to be able to cover your bills, your mortgage, that sort of thing. But then he would write a certain amount to himself at every paycheck or at the beginning of the month that would go into an account and that was his savings. I love this idea. This has helped me really focus on how much I put into my regular savings and then travel savings because if it's not in your bank account, 
you can't spend it, your regular checking account. Of course, we cover all of our bills primarily. Then what's left over is our money for you know, food, shopping activities, that sort of thing. But if a little extra is taken out, you don't really feel it. Um, one thing that I do pretty regularly, and I did um, when I was saving for that first Disney trip and for our anniversary trip, was every time I went to the grocery store, I would get a little bit of cash back. Not much, especially for our trip, to, for our anniversary. It was just enough to where he didn't notice it. But every time I was at the grocery store, I was getting an extra 20 bucks out and stashing it. We didn't feel it. 10, 20 bucks here and there, you just don't really feel it most of the time. I understand people are on different budgets, but even if it's $5 here or there, and that's where I'll get to the next one. Every penny, every dime adds up, especially when you are compounding that with discounted gift cards and putting it into a savings account where you're getting some interest on it. So, do you have um, a jar where all the family throws their loose change? If you don't start one, change adds up really fast. I did not realize that until after my grandparents passed away and we found jars and buckets of change all over the house where my grandfather was always throwing his change. I had no idea how it could add up, but it can. Do you have a swear jar? Use, use the money from your swear jar for your travel. You may end up throwing in a few expletives every now and then when you need to up the ante a bit. <laughs> um, do you have um, returns that you need to make? You purchased something, you intended to keep it, but for whatever reason you decided you don't need it after all or you end up getting a duplicate of it. Return it, take that money, it's already gone, you're not feeling it, stick it in your savings. Um, bartenders, waiters, waitresses, I had some friends um, when I was bartending for a while, they were bartending as a couple, and they would save every $5 bill that they got and they would put it in a box. Uh, it, you know, two or three bucks as a bartender, you know, that was a great tip, but an actual $5 bill, you didn't get them that often. Sometimes you would, sometimes you wouldn't, and a lot of people are paying on their credit cards. But every time they got that physical $5 bill, they threw it in. So they weren't really feeling it. It wasn't that often. It wasn't a big amount at any one time. But they quickly were able to save up a hefty little savings account with their $5 bills. I loved that idea. And I started doing it myself. Um, PayPal. Do you sell something on Etsy or Facebook Marketplace or Mercari or any of those? You know, I try and constantly go through at least twice a year, more often than that. Anytime I find anything, you know, we're not using it, I'm gonna put it on Facebook Marketplace or these boots don't really work with my outfits anymore, I'll put them on Mercari. That money goes straight into my PayPal and I sit on it. Once I've got a little amount there, I'll transfer it into that savings account. It wasn't money I was counting on, so I don't feel it when it's not there. That's a really sneaky one. I did that for that first Disney trip and I cleaned this house out. All the stuff that we weren't using, gifts we had been given that we were keeping just because we felt bad if we didn't keep them, gone. And all that money straight into the Disney account. Um, with Christmas coming up, you may get some of those things that they just don't work for your lifestyle or your style or anything like that. You can't return them. Sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Add that into the kitty for your vacation. Then you don't feel so bad about not keeping the little Christmas tchotchke that Aunt Carol gave you because in the end, it's a thought that counts and she's helping finance your next vacation. Um, Rakuten and Ibotta. Those are the two kind of rebate sites that I use. There's a ton of them out there. I've used other ones at different times, um, but those are the two that I use really regularly. Um, so if you don't know, I bought it is for mostly grocery shopping, but they've expanded and you can do some um, other thing and get some rebates on other things. Um, but every time I go to the grocery store, once I've made my list, I go through I bought it and I check off all my coupons. It's digital. Once I get home, I scan my products and my um, receipt and then they pay me, you know, it's 10 cents here, 25 cents here. You know, sometimes you can use it up to five times and so you may get a few bucks. Um, Rakuten, now that we are shopping almost all online for our Christmas presents, 
check with Rakuten. You're making those purchases anyway. If you open it through the Rakuten website, you get a portion of your money back. It's small, but it adds up. And between those two, I've gotten a few hundred dollars every year that I then put into my checking account and then buy my discounted gift cards. So those are my big ones that I've used. Um, every now and then I'll throw in another sneaky one. Like sometimes if I go out with a girlfriend um, and we split, you know, I put it on my card and she gives me cash. That cash goes straight into my bank account for my savings. Um, if someone gives me money for gas, if I've driven, it wasn't money I was counting on. So again, I don't feel it. It's all about finding those places where you don't feel the money missing. I would never recommend that you take from your emergency savings account. Absolutely do not do that. Do not, you know, miss the electrical bill for your vacation or short your um, 401k that month. Don't do any of those things. Get creative with that money that you don't feel. And remember, if it's not in your account for you to spend and budget, then you don't feel it. All right, guys, thank you so much. As always, I am a completely free travel agent that is full of tips and tricks like this. I can point you to savings for your particular um, travel that you've got coming up and help you get the most bang for your buck. Thank you so much. As always, stay safe, travel safe. Thank you. Adventures by Miranda. Bye, guys.